hate you live. No entiendes lo que te estoy diciendo, cabrona. Fico with a spear. The biggest party of the summer, that is WWE SummerSlam is on the horizon. From shocking moments to surprising returns and the eventual comeback of the real Tribal Chief, SummerSlam could have some of the most interesting moments and could prove to be a blockbuster edition in the show's history. So guys, without wasting any time, let's get down to our newest video in the Wrestle World section titled SummerSlam Predictions presented by your favorite channel, Wrestle. Fanet! First off, let's begin with one of the newest matches made official for the card. That is CM Punk vs Drew McIntyre with Seth freaking Rollins as the special guest referee. The heated rivalry that has been prevailing for months between Punk and McIntyre will finally come to head at SummerSlam as both men will collide for the first time in one-on-one -on -one action. Adding the taste to it, Seth Rollins was revealed to be the special guest referee for this bout to restore some order between the uncontrolled and unhinged McIntyre and Punk. Seth's inclusion could change the dynamics of this match completely and the end result could possibly see Drew McIntyre picking up the win as Seth Rollins hates CM Punk much more than McIntyre that has been detailed over the last few years. This could give Drew McIntyre an all-important victory after a string of losses and set the tone for the impending rivalry between Seth Rollins and CM Punk that was scheduled to main event WrestleMania 40 this year until CM Punk went down with a triceps injury. Next off, another match made official recently was was the WWE Intercontinental Championship match between Sami Zayn and Braun Breaker. After his first unsuccessful attempt to claim the title, Breaker defeated Ilya Dragunov this week on Raw in dominant fashion and earned himself another crack at the IC title against Sami Zayn. With Breaker's momentum at the top level, this could be the perfect moment for WWE to pull the trigger with SummerSlam seeing the crowning of Braun Breaker as the new WWE Intercontinental Champion defeating Sami Zayn and winning his first major title on the main roster. Coming up next, the Women's Championship match between Bayley and Nia Jax. Nia Jax earned herself a crack at the WWE Women's Championship following her victory in the Queen of the Ring tournament which many fans, I believe, didn't want that to happen, but it happened. Did you want that to happen? Tell us in the comment section. <laughs> Anyhow, adding an interesting layer to this match is the presence of Miss Money in the Bank and Nia Jax's new Barbie doll, Tiffany Stratton, who attempted to cash in on multiple occasions ever since she won the contract. This could be the deciding factor in their match at SummerSlam as Bailey might topple Nia Jax only to be cashed on by Tiffany Stratton and give Tiffany Stratton the monster push she has been looking for by winning the women's championship at the biggest party of the summer, that is SummerSlam. Coming up next, Liv Morgan vs Rhea Ripley. Ever since Rhea Ripley came back to WWE after her injury, Things have been very much interesting in the ongoing saga with Liv Morgan and her beloved Latino heat, Dominic Mysterio. This week on Raw saw an interesting turn of events as Dominic Mysterio berated Liv Morgan, telling her that he hated her and eventually sided with Mami and Rhea Ripley also accepted Dom Dom with a lick on the face and solidifying their allegiance once again. However, this could prove to be all a ruse as Dominic Mysterio would do the ultimate shocker by costing Rhea Ripley the match and choosing to side with Liv Morgan, ensuring Morgan's victory and giving birth to a new alliance that will see Dominic Mysterio and Liv Morgan hand in hand while Rhea Ripley would be left completely obliterated. Next off, is the Yeah Movement gonna take over at SummerSlam or a Maverick will crush all of his dreams? 
LA Knight after months of his pursuit finally got his wish and a championship match against the WWE United States Champion Logan Paul at SummerSlam. With LA Knight being hot as ever, his popularity growing by each week since the last year, this could be the perfect moment for WWE to give him his crowning moment and his first singles championship. Moreover, Logan Paul's reign has already been criticized very much. I believe it was the worst reign even it was 250 days plus. Do you feel the same? Tell us in the comments as Logan Paul has only defended his championship twice in his 250 plus day reign. Coming back to the topic, SummerSlam could end with LA Knight toppling the Maverick and finally clinching the WWE United States Championship which could be the start of the ascent of LA Knight to the next level in the WWE food chain. Next off, the World Heavyweight Championship match between Gunther and Damien Priest. Damien Priest has been on a roll ever since he won the World Heavyweight Championship by cashing in his Money in the Bank contract at WrestleMania 40 over Drew McIntyre and emerging as the new champ. Despite his doubters and Judgment Day constantly trying to interfere in his matches, Damien Priest has proved himself to be a credible champion and this rivalry with Gunther could be very much solidifying him as a top star in the WWE roster. However, the time might have finally dawned upon the WWE landscape to see the ascension of the ring general to the next main event level with Gunther probably outlasting Damien Priest to become the new world heavyweight champion. However, Gunther's win would not happen in a clean way as the tensions between Finn Balor and Damien Priest that have been evident for weeks and weeks could finally come to fruition with the Prince costing the Archer and Femi the match and giving Gunther the win to become the new World Heavyweight Champion and setting the tone for a heated rivalry between Finn Balor and Damien Priest. And the last topic, the main event for WWE SummerSlam 2024 that will see the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes put up his undisputed WWE Championship against the leader of the Bloodline the self-proclaimed new tribal chief, Solo Sikoa. Solo Sikoa laid out the challenge and Cody Rhodes being the fighting champion accepted it, citing his past differences with the bloodline while Solo being laser focused to bring back the championship to the family that Roman Reigns lost at WrestleMania 40. However, the WWE Universe in Cleveland, Ohio could witness the massive shocker as the heavily speculated return of Roman Reigns could finally happen at SummerSlam and this would cost Solo Sikoa the match and his opportunity to become the undisputed champion. Reigns' shocking return could give Cody Rhodes the victory but in the end it could see Roman Reigns taking out the man who tried to be his successor and the man who took the richest prize away from him at WrestleMania 40. Well fans, that was it for WWE SummerSlam predictions for this year. If you like this video, then you know what to do. Like, comment, share and subscribe. And we need a special shout out for our Roman Reigns because he's most likely going to return guys. And you better believe that. <laughs> Anyways, take care and we'll see you all in the next video presented by your favorite channel, WrestleFanet.